Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. It's November 8th in the morning, and um, I'm stitching this one before I get ready for work. Yeah, this is her. I think I'm just gonna focus more stitching on her until she's done because she's so pretty. Also, I didn't do any stitching last night, but because I was busy preparing for project bags, cutting stuff, but I, I tried to paint on a wood slice. So, this is my first one, and I'm really liking it. Hold on. So I thought I'm going to make um, four of this, one, two, no, no, not four, three, because I want to give them to my boyfriend's sibling and mother, um, stepmother <clears throat> for Christmas. So we'll see if I can replicate this. I just did this while watching the boys um it's a fat cardinal <laughs> yeah uh it's really so proud of myself that i just took a picture from the hobby lobby card it's and i saw it and i just took a picture and just what um just draw from the picture so then I started to do this. I don't think I like it. It's gonna be a snowman, but it's not finished, of course. Um, <clears throat> let's see if I um I pick the wrong side. So you gotta learn, like you know, pick the bad side. Should have picked this one smoother. But anyways, that's not done. There's, there's still a lot of things to do in this one, but. Yeah, I'm gonna doing something for the ornament and it's really nice. Anyways, that's it for this morning. Good morning. Happy Thursday. It is November 9th. And I'm just, just another. So I woke up early. So I have time to do some stitching but before that i want to show you what i did last night um i was just um not stitching last night because just didn't have the desire to do it for some reason but i did some painting while sitting relaxing and listening to or watching tv so let me show you what i did um done um it's i was painting ornaments on a wood slice again and i did this it's not really nice i'm not happy with that but i tried so that you know there's nothing in the back i just put that so i can put merry christmas 2023 or Christmas 2023, but that's the first one that I did last night. And then here, I still need to put um sealer in this though. That's my oops Christmas tree. This is fun to do. It's easy to do as well. Just dabbing my brush. And then this, I'm going to give it this to my um, boyfriend's um, stepmother. Yeah, I'm going to give this to her. And just the back, put Merry Christmas and put our name. And I think she'll appreciate this. And then, 
last one is this <laughs> it, it's kind of a bigger wood slice so i can put more detailed um whatever i'm so happy with it and this one i'm gonna give to uh, one of um my boyfriend's siblings i'm gonna make another one like this and give it another sibling there are two siblings so that will be our christmas christmas gift for them and yeah do and just put merry christmas there in our name so that's what i did last night um i'm sitting here it's um an hour away from the start of my work so i want to stitch um luda good morning happy monday i just want to show you what i have uh painted uh, i finished this last uh yesterday but it took me two days um here is it it's the uh painting following a tutorial This is actually my first time painting um, a portrait or people and um, it was difficult. The shading on her face and everything. Um, I corrected it. That face has um, layers and layers of painting there. So this is Virgin Mary. And baby Jesus. And yeah. I'm ha actually happy with it. But. Th there are things that I wanted to change. But sometimes you just could not change it. You know. It's just the paint is too thick. And. Is it the more you correct things. The more you ruin. You ruin it. But. Yeah, this is what I I have done. I, I will show you my cross stitching as well. I have made a lot of progress on Luda, but we'll get to that later. Hey guys, these are my project bags. I needed to, um, I think I have completed 17, so I need um, seven more now three plus four yeah so i need to make 27. i've probably count the old ones that i did so i just probably have to make five or six but you'll see but yeah i found this one sorry for this some of the stuff here but i found this one on um in a Marshalls and it's really perfect to put all my project bags but I don't think it will once this project bags they're still empty once I put projects on them I will I hope that they will still fit inside but this is perfect to have all my active whips um, in preparation for next year so yeah that is the uh, i still have to make seven more as i said seven or five depends and then start putting projects inside and labeling labeling it with a keychain and then and then i'm ready for my 2024 see ya Hey guys, it is 55 degrees here and I'm walking, taking a break. I mean, I decided to walk and use my, use my lunch break to walk. I needed it. Yeah. 
I have some um, health issues. Not not really that bad, but something that I want to reverse. It can be reversed if I change my lifestyle. So I started with my diet. I lost I don't know yet, maybe five or six pounds already. That's water weight. But now I incorporate um hiking no not hiking but walking even just a few minutes. I wanna do it every day but it depends on how busy I am. But yeah. Well, I should be walking in the opposite side of the road. I guess I'm gonna do that. But yeah, I'm doing this to the, for myself to live longer and enjoy life and not to really suffer for anything. Illnesses while I am still alive, if I can do something with that, you know, I want to do that starting now. So it's not good it's not good to be not healthy so that's what i'm trying not right now i'm trying i want to reverse something so i will not have any problem in the future so if you are like me who's also doing something like that for your health for yourself for your family um let me know in the comment um it's all because start it all started when i gained weight you know when you have that extra stuff in your body for a long time everything just you know at a very young age um since I got sick, it started, everything started, and I don't want, I don't really want that. That's why I'm changing right now. It takes a lot. It takes a lot, especially changing your eating habits, habits like me. I need to give up my rice, and I like bread. I need to give it up. Up. I'm staying away from sugary everything including fruits which I really like I'm I'm doing keto right now because as I did some some research and that will really really help me hopefully hey guys it is Monday it's me again um I have some cross stitching update for you. I have here Halloween and Hawk Run Hollow. I know Halloween has passed already, but I still want to work on this project. I don't care. I don't care if it's not in the season. I just wanted um, to work on this so I can, you know, someday hang it on my wall on halloween although i don't really celebrate that i don't participate in that uh but i like some of the halloween stuff i go to a friend's house before to just you know hand out candies because i don't do it in my own house anyways um i just want to show you that i worked on this last night and here is my um progress i only worked on her hat and it's this is one is on 40 count linen and it's really hard on my eyes to see uh but i don't want to stitch it on other count because i think it's too big but i maybe someday if i'm gonna do another hawk run hollow um, designs I would consider stitching on 18 count because 40 count is just too much for me 
or 25 count maybe two over one i'm not really sure but here's my progress um i worked on the hat before i put it down and give my eyes some rest and also another update for you guys for luda here's luda i finally went uh, i know in my prior video i said oh i'm gonna do go to hobby lobby to pick up beads but i didn't go to hobby lobby that day i went there eventually yesterday and pick um the beads so i couldn't really um trying to screenshot beads on google see how the color and how it looks like but could it really you know i just realized no i just pick gold I'm not really trying to find a, a closer match but i know it was gold so i picked gold and put the gold beads around her so basically this top head here is done and then i think i need, need a little bit somewhere here but i have to see but on her side, all the stitching and this side, all the stitchings are done except for the beads. And I picked the oriental red, uh, the beads is oriental red and I don't have that. I picked something red um, as a substitute and it doesn't look like the oriental red because I couldn't find anything else, but it's okay. So this might, my Luda might look different when it comes to beads, um, but it's okay whatever works right i don't really have to stress myself to get those beads you know um order it from hobby lobby or no from the stitching store that they don't have st in stock so i don't want to wait for that so it's okay to put other beads you can put whatever beads you like that's my opinion you don't really have to as long as it's the same size it's not whatever so this is my progress she's coming around pretty this is actually nerge hoop or square hoop um large one i really like it because luda fits inside i don't have to change and i can use hoops um without moving her so perfect perfect size for me so i go i can do stitching and beading at the same time without moving her or something sometimes if the project is too big it won't fit on any hoops that i have then i have to um i really like stitching and while beading as i go i think it works in my brain that way and um and if i bead as i go i can't use hoops because my some of most of my hoops are small so i have to do it in hand which is sometimes nice but sometimes it's not really comfortable to do depends on the kind of fabric that's my update for luda and i um have i purchased a book and i forgot to film it when i got that book i got it on amazon i was watching a youtube a video and she showed this uh her finishes from this book and i said i want that you know and i did i went um in amazon i got this i know i've seen people showing this book but i wasn't really interested then until that lady show or that floss tuber showed finishes from this book and i really like it so I purchased it and I started one last night. Unfortunately, though, I didn't have all the colors, so I couldn't really move, uh, move on with the project. So let me find. Oh, sorry. I have to look for that. Sorry if I'm showing you the pattern. I'm not. It's not intentional. But let me find the picture. Oh, that design that I like. Oh, I should have done this before doing this video. But anyways, so this is the well, the whole the whole page share. That's that's what I like about this book. Like one page has patterns and they shared almost the same colors. So I want to stitch most 
a few of that page. And, and and what I like about it is you can keep the same colors. You have collected all the DMC floss and you can just keep it and stitch the, the designs that the motif that you want on that page and then you move on to the next. But I think I said I wanted to do her first because she is so cute. So I started her on just a regular 14 count you know i prefer they look small so it's okay to use 14 count ada just a regular 14 count ada I, I could have picked something a color that is darker because there's like plenty of white over there but it's too late for that though but it's okay um if it didn't show if that doesn't show then i'll have, just have to do the uh, little back stitching but that's my start. Uh, my problem is I, I don't have some of the colors, especially the red. The red color that is dominating the whole design. I don't have that. So I I don't want to go forward because I had already miscount mistakes for miscounting. So I said, you know, I'll just wait until I get all the DMC before I continue. But I could have sit down and get get that done last night if I have all the colors. That's how small and quick and easy these are. I want to stitch this and I think I want to stitch this too. And maybe that. You know, they're all cute. And they're all perfect for ornaments. But yeah, that's my start. That's my start and randomly I just, you know, I just wanted to do some cross stitching, Christmas cross stitching right now. And there are going to be ornaments, of course, and I will be stitching some of the big ones too. I just wanted to do this as a year, year long project, you know, it's just so cute. Yeah, it's just nice so that is my update for you guys um i will be tonight if i have time i will be making um the rest of the project bags and put projects i really want to get that that project done i've been working in it for many days or months i don't know days and um get it done get it ready and also I, I i wanted to try the weather the temperature and every temperature project cross stitch and i've never done it before i purchased one on etsy and what did i like that is i um and i want that prepared as well like i need to have i already have access to my printer but i have to go to the other house and print all the pages the instructions and that will be included also in the 24 items that i'm gonna be working on next year i think well yes i have to so it's gonna be 23 whips and i haven't decided yet but that i want to try the temperature um temperature that's whatever curious about it so i don't have a printout i don't have i probably if i have a picture of it i'm gonna post it here like that and then that's about it nothing else um that uh well this is my painting i laminated it with something to protect the painting and then put christmas merry christmas to back 2023 i'm gonna paint a lamin and seal this also and then put decorations it's not complete yet this is just um a test before i'm doing this um i'm doing this to i'm copying this or using the sealer to uh the other ornament that i'm gonna give as a gift to my boyfriend's family but i like it it's shiny right these are all i have for you this week and uh, i'm not really good in filming this week it's just like i forgot 
to film stuff. But that's all for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And see you next week maybe. Because I think, I think weekly posting it works for me. See you. Bye.